Let's just roll. <clears throat> Yummy. All right, folks. <clears throat> we back in the lab. We back in the studio. This is the Cabin's Low Podcast. I'm your host, Rob. This is your home for your daily sports, current events, and DMV community news. What's happening, man? Uh got a jam-packed show for you. I know it's Tuesday. And shit's supposed to have been out this morning. What's going on? Look, it's a holiday, man. I had to get my chill on. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of shit going on. We'll unpack all of it. Um, first and foremost, make sure you share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Patreon is available. All the links are in the bio. Everywhere you can find my stuff. Fool with me. <clears throat> um, topics for the night and the current events. We're going to be talking Father's Day. Um, we'll be talking Juneteenth. On the community news side, we're going to be talking the third annual Black Business Expo I was able to attend. And of course, we're going to get into some NBA stuff. You know, the NBA been crazy. Um, but first and foremost, let's get into it. All right. So it's late, but it don't matter. It was an extended weekend. So I'm just going to start it off by saying happy Father's Day, happy belated. If if I ain't respond to that, them, them mass amounts of group texts that I got, I'm responding to you now. Happy Father's Day. Um, I appreciate all of y'all kings out here doing the good work. Um, this is to exclude any of you ladies out here who who doing the job. It don't matter. Fathers, fathers, fathers. Kings. Y'all are queens. On Mother's Day, we get y'all all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I enjoy myself. You know, I, I got to pretty much do whatever I wanted to do. And honestly, I just wanted to be out of the house. So I did that. You know what I'm saying? I went to the Go-Go Friday. I went to see Subtle Thoughts. Shout to them. Um, Saturday, I went rode the bike, um, with all day Sunday. I got to go to the black business expo and my son had a game and then I had a cookout for me. And Monday, I think I just chilled most of the day, just kind of recouped. So again, happy father's day to y'all, man. Juneteenth. Um, so, you know, I got that holiday off, you know, I just our first year getting that holiday and I'm telling you, man, it was a little weird out here in the streets, man. Usually. At my good government job, when it's a holiday, the secretary come up, send out her send out her her little message for whatever holiday it is, and then she'd be like, Oh yeah, you get like two, three hours uh early dismissal admin leave. I ain't seen none of that shit. Not only did we not get no admin leave, you know what I'm saying? Like the message came out like like four o'clock on, on a Friday. Like that's late. We usually get this message like the day before. Or the day before that, so we know that, all right, well, you eligible to, 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 to leave early. You know what I'm saying? We ain't get none of that. And I'm just like, all right, I'm kind of watching now. I'm watching. I'm watching y'all being a little funny on, on these holidays, but let it be President's Day or St. Patrick's or, or, or whatever the fuck. Then all of a sudden, you know, we, we, we you ain't even got to come in. But Juneteenth holiday come up, you know, you just say some little, you know, put a little paragraph on it, probably some shit you got off chat GBT, and then just, you know, nope, finish out the day. But it's all right, though. We, we still enjoyed it. We're going to take it as we can get it. Um, man, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I always say this, man. I wish people would just be who they are, man, you know, and just stop faking the funk. We was playing Call of Duty, man, and um, we ended up losing. But this team, I ain't going to say what whatever race they was. It was through the game. But it was like, we're going to show you how to properly bring in Juneteenth. And they came in and shot all our asses up. I was like, damn, bro, like, y'all cold-blooded like that? So, it just goes to show you, man, uh, we still got a long way to go as a people, man, and it's still, you know, hatred, racism, and shit like that out here. Uh, luckily, we don't, we, don't deal, we don't tolerate none of that shit here 
You know what I'm saying? On the podcast. None of my shipmates got to deal with none of that. Uh, if you know somebody who do it, just tell them to step the fuck away. Um, but that's all I got for that, man. Let's move to community news. Hey, shout out to invest. Shout out to the Extraordinary Investment Group, man. Shout out to Let's get the claps. <laughs> shout out to them guys, man. Shout out to Nate Bennett, man. I think I seen Mike Evans rock. A uh, couple more guys that I had seen growing up. You know, it was a lot of people from around the old way, from the old MoCo way. Um, downtown Silver Spring, Veterans Plaza. Uh, that's that little spot, if you're familiar with the area. That's a little spot right there on Fenton Street where they, they opened up that area where they be ice skating and shit. Had a big old expo with about 60 black businesses on that joint. For everywhere from clothes to food to chiropractors. To oils and shit like that, to live performances, uh, just a lot of a lot of black excellence going on out there. And um, you know, I, I thought it was really good to be able to get out there. He, uh, Nate had actually invited me to that shit a while. I think he invited me to the very first one. And I had told him I was. I feel bad, bro. I think when I looked at the message two or three years ago, I was like, "What is this?" And I didn't even go. So luckily, I was able to go this time. Pulled up on the bike. I said, "Well, my son got a game." He got a game at four, so I'm like, let me get here, try to get here by 11 or 12. I, I can cool out for about an hour, hour and a half, and I can get the fuck back on up the road. So I think I got there about 11.30, you know, seen Nate, dopped him up, seen some other folks, and um, actually seen a lot of vendors from, uh, you know, from high school, man, you know, really out there doing their thing. So, you know, I went to show them some love, man. I also... It also gave me an opportunity to do something that I said I wanted to do on the podcast. This was, this was something I wanted to do to, you know, evolve uh, my platform, and that was doing live interviews in the public. So this is something I've been I've been trying to work myself up to do this for about six months, and um, it's just you know it's not easy, man. You know, you out there. And you're recording and people walking by looking, you know, what if what if I draw a crowd? What if the person I'm interviewing, you know, say something crazy? Like it's it's a lot of what ifs, man. But, you know, in this business, man, you got to just jump out there. So luckily I was able to interview people that I knew, you know, what I mean, so it just made it that much easier. So I interviewed a young child that's a painter. Uh, shout out to Khalil's Understore Creations, 2Ks. Um, I interviewed. Miss Tamika Allen, she had she had some clothing brands, jewelry, some co-assignment stuff like that. I interviewed Miss And Andrea Broadus. Uh, she had some clothes and jewelry and things of that nature as well. And um, who else are they? Oh, and I got my man, Miss Mr. Storm and Norman with Yep It Worldwide um, clothing designer. So that was really cool for me to get out there. And I think, you know, just their vibes, they appreciated that. Me kind of going over what I was gonna say. And putting the product together and, you know, showing them uh, how the video was going to look, you know. And I, I think they really appreciated that. So I put two of them out so far. If you ain't seen it, it's on my TikTok and Instagram um, and in YouTube shorts. And I, I think it's it's real cool. I got one more to post tomorrow and the one the day after. And then we're done with that. So overall, man, I was pissed that I had to leave because it, it, it looked, seemed like it got even better. You know, after I left, the news was there. I seen some more folks online from high school, man. Just was a big old reunion. And, you know, I couldn't, you know, it's Father's Day. So I can only get in where I fit in. So, um, again, shout out to Nate Bennett, man. Thanks for having me. And I'll, I will see you again next year. Uh, What else we got? Oh, 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 oh. Excessive bills. Excessive bills. This weekend marks... Three years of podcasting. <laughs> Had to put the hard duke it on him. Yes. Three years. 2020. August was it? June 2020 is when I first started this, man. Started in the other room. Didn't have no idea. Just knew that, you know, this is something that I had on my chest. A lot of people was encouraging me to do it. For a while, man, and I was like, man, fuck it, I'm just gonna do it. Went out, went on Amazon, just bought me a little podcast kit, all the wrong equipment, and just got on here, wrote some notes down, and started talking. And three years later, 142 episodes later, I'm still standing. Another clap. <laughs> all right, 
right, relax, relax. Um, I, I I definitely want to thank everybody. I want to thank thank my wife. I want to thank all my all the people I keep close to me. You know who I can talk shop with about podcasts and whether it's ideas, equipment, things of that nature. Anybody who gave me the good good or bad constructive criticism, and just my community for following me. Uh, for as long as they have, man, I do truly, truly appreciate you all. And uh, as we push on the year four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, man, just stick with me. I'm gonna keep giving you the same shit I've been giving you, and more. So thank you again. All right, sports. All right, let's just let's just get this out right now. Yes, Bradley Bill is gone. Bradley Bill gone. Am I sad? No, I'm not sad. Bradley Bill had to do what was best for him. Um, to the Phoenix Suns, you know what I'm saying? Just got his contract, five years, 251 mil. You know what I mean? Got the no trade clause thing and everything in there. And literally a couple of months later and ended up waiving his no clause uh, thing and went to the Phoenix. Now, he had a couple other teams. I know Miami wanted him. I know Milwaukee wanted him. Shit, I think even Philly wanted him. But he wanted to go to the Suns. And I know what y'all thinking. Damn, he going to go with KD. He going to go with Devin Booker. Oh, it's a super team. Blah, 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 blah. Listen, he played for one team for 10, 10, almost, 10 almost 11 years. Played for one team. He can go wherever he wants. I mean, let me know. How much time do you got to be on a team before you say, you know what, man, I've, I've given y'all all I've got, and at this point I need to go and get with some more talented players and see where I can, where I can, where I can savor my career. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it looked bad. It, really, it, it, it looks worse for Kevin Durant more than anybody because this is like the third super team that they put together for him. And they saying that he kind of he, – he had part in getting them to the team, whatever. But Bradley Bill had every right to lead the team if you want to lead the team. It's not working. How long are you going to stay on this mid-ass team? This team that barely makes the playoffs or don't make the playoffs and then gets mid-draft picks. Bro, get out of there. That's just like when John Wall left. Yeah, it was crazy how they got rid of him, but he was also on the team for 10 years. That's just like when LeBron James left Cleveland. He was on that team for eight years. That's just like when Kevin Durant Left Oklahoma City, he was on that team for eight or nine years or something like that. So, come on, man. Like, we just keep sitting on teams. Everybody can't be Damian Lillard. I salute you. But everybody not going to do – everybody not going to do that. Everybody wants to win. You know what I'm saying? So, if if he go – he with Phoenix now. Phoenix probably ain't got no fucking bench. And they go and they win the championship. Then he won the championship. It is what it is. Now, what do we get? We got 93-year-old Chris Paul. Who we probably not gonna keep him. We got some dude named Landry Shamit. I ain't even seen him. We got multiple second round picks, and we got multiple pick swaps. Well, we already know the Wizards is not keeping Chris Paul. They just did that shit. He can get a little buyout, and he can go back to the Clippers. He gonna retire with them. I salute you. Um, but also, Kyle Kuzma is is gonna be a free agent. He he didn't waive his option. He gonna be an un, unrestricted free agent. Now, my thing is, are y'all about to build around Kyle Kuzma and Porzingis? Or are you really betting on the draft? Because it looks to me like you're betting on the draft. And personally, if you're betting on the draft, you can go ahead and fire the coach too. Let me get some water for that because I got to say that again. Bro. If you clean, if you're literally, if you're really out here cleaning house, you know what I'm saying. You got a new GM and everybody came with him. Go ahead and let West Unsell go. Let one, let West Unsell Jr. go. It ain't it. Looking worse than Scott Brooks. The team don't play no defense. They play the zone. The zone get picked through. Bro, we had the we had the worst defense in the league. We had a we had we gave up the most three pointers in the league. Number one. So, again, I'm happy for Brad. Um. But if we're going to rebuild it, rebuild it all the way. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of everybody. And I don't know. I, I would love to keep Kuzma, man. But it's like, is, is Kyle Kuzma going to be the guy that you're going to build around? Is Porzingis going to be the guy you've been around? How long Porzingis been in the league? It's because Porzingis, he kind of been in that corner to being old, ain't he? 
I would pick Kyle Kuzma over anything, but it's like, is is he going to give you enough to be that guy? Now, if he go out here and and he want to go try free agency, he's going to be the hottest shit on the market. I mean, I heard Draymond Green going to be a free agent, but he, gonna, he probably going to take less money and take his ass by the Golden State if he know what's good for him because he's not going to be able to do none of that shit. Um, but question for y'all, though. What y'all think about this no trade clause thing? What y'all think about that? Y'all think that's legit? Do, do you think this certain players should have it? I was looking at a post earlier uh, from Stephen A. Smith, and he said he gave his five people who should be no trade clause, and Bradley Bill wasn't on there. Uh, he named number five, Jason Tatum, number four, Nikola Jokic, number three, Giannis, number two, LeBron James, and number one, Steph Curry. I don't disagree with him, but... If at this stage, I would take LeBron off only because he's old. That's it. I would take LeBron off just just because he's just because he's old. I would, that's that's it. If he had been in the league fifteen years, I would say yeah. But how much time the man? How, how much time does LeBron have? People don't want to be saying this, but LeBron is washed. And when he get out here and he don't have his main guys, and he got to go out here and really do it. He 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 give you forty one game. He not giving you shit the next one or the one after that. Um, but what y'all think though? What y'all think about this no trade clause? You feeling it? You you you, you do y'all think that? I think that Bradley Bill. I think this is already talks, and Bradley Bill just made sure he secured the bag for his family. You know what I'm saying? And after that, he was like, "Shit, if y'all want to trade me, go ahead and trade me. But I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick where I'm going though." It's a smart move, and that's why I'm like I can't be upset. I'm just more upset that you ain't fired a coach. And if you really betting on the draft, then you need to get everybody out. Get everybody out. Get all the trade. Do all the trades you got to do. Get the draft picks. Try to get some number one picks. You know what I'm saying? And then go from there. But y'all not gonna win shit with West Sunset Junior. But I'm telling you right now, whoever the assistant is, about to be the head coach. Uh, what else? Oh, so so you know the significance about those five players that Stephen A. Smith named. You know the significance about them five players? They low key, they low maintenance players. Um, they play basketball and they keep it pushing. LeBron, you know, he 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 got a bigger voice, but you know he he's King James, but he's still considered low key. I mean, Jokic, he's probably as low key as it gets. He might be lower key than goddamn Tim Duncan, Giannis. Low key, of course, you know, he celebrated a little bit when he uh you know he won the championship, but that's what you do, you celebrate. And Steph Curry, low maintenance. Bro, I was watching another podcast. I don't remember it, man, but I, I if if somebody can find that clip, um, tag me in that shit. He said that uh his prediction is in the next five years, the NBA is gonna be ran by international players. Let that sink in for a second. I agree with him. I agree with him wholeheartedly. I mean, look at what's going on. Um, at this point, man, like, you're looking for model NBA players. You're looking for the faces of the NBA. And one of the faces of the NBA, you know, just, just got suspended for 25 games. And the other face of the NBA – you know, got got baby mama drama, you know what I'm saying, online, you know, and and, and, she, and she's an adult entertainer online talking about releasing tapes, spitting and spitting and pissing on, on each other and all this other shit. So it's like these these guys, young guys in their low, you know, mid 20s, these guys are supposed to be the face of the National Basketball Association. Bullshit. <laughs> Adam Silver ain't going for that. That's why you look at people like Jokic, Giannis, Embiid, even though Embiid be crying. You you look at these players, uh, Wimby, that's getting ready to be in the league. These European players, these international players come in the league. First of all, they come in the league game ready. They in high school or grade school, whatever they call it over there, 15, 16 years old, they already playing against adults. So they come to the NBA, it's child's play. Look at Luka. Luca came in the league, it it just be dancing around, y'all. Oh, Luca only problem is I just think he overweight. But he still gets a bucket, whatever. But he be complaining too. But, bro, they come to the league, they get buckets, and they roll. You don't hear nothing about them off court. 
We got so we we could just go back in time. We got so many off court issues going on. Even ex players, like this, this, this is an example. Like Paul Pierce, Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett doing a show live on Showtime. Paul Pierce is fucking fried on that joint, doing anything. Like, bro, it's an image. Now, granted, he's a retired player. Even retired European players, you don't hear anything about them. You don't hear nothing. They come on. They are model players. They are model players for the NBA. That's what they want. If you want to put a name, you want to put a face on the NBA right now, you can put Nikola Jokic on there. The boy went out here, won the chip, you know what I'm saying, and then went and immediately dapped up everybody on the team before he even celebrated. Started pouring beer on his teammates. Went and dapped everybody up, even the ones who tried to slide out of there. No, 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 come back, shake my hand. Shake my hand. You know what I'm saying? But then we got all this other goofy shit going on. We we got it. We it had been times where teams then then lost, and the main players that walked off the court before the game over. But you supposed you supposed to be the face of the NBA though. So yes, I do think international players are gonna take. They didn't already took it over, but it's gonna be hostile take over. Look, when you get these Wimby's seven foot whatever the fuck tall he is, three pointers, Duncan, Hezzy, Jelly layups, shit. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't seen that in the United States since shit since LeBron. The fuck. So let me know what y'all think, man. Do y'all do y'all think the NBA is is in jeopardy? Do you, are the American players in jeopardy of getting over overturned by the international players? I think it's a it's a legit conversation. Um, what else? Notable mention, man. Uh, Shannon Sharp's gone, man. Uh, oh, Uncle Shay Shay, man, put his last day in. He well, what would have been two weeks, but you know the finals went four one. So um, you know he had nice little yellow suit on. Came on there. I didn't watch the episode. I haven't watched it since he left. I'm curious to to, to how the shit is now. Them ratings is probably in the toilet. But um, one thing he said to Skip, and I wish I had the audio to play. One thing he said to Skip when he he was like, you know, when you lay your head down on the pillow. Just know I gave you everything I got. And was tearing up, and I said, "Man, I felt that, bro, because th- it was definitely a message. There was a message in there, and whatever. That's pretty much saying, look, Skip, I tried to make this work, but you kept fucking playing with me. That's what. That's what I took from it. So I'm, I'm curious to what you know, what he's gonna do now. I'm pretty sure he's gonna take a break, you know, from wearing suits every day. It seemed like he's just enjoying himself, but um." Uncle Shay Shay, man, I'm, I'm still waiting on it on the Gmail or, or Yahoo or Hotmail or whatever AOL email you got. Or you got one of them old ones, you old guy. Let me get one of them emails, man, so I can send you something in. Um, but, man, that's that's really all I got, man. Um, it's been a big week in basketball. It's been a big week for fathers. It's been a big week for Juneteenth. It's been a big week for podcasting. One more. It's been a big week, man. I'm I'm glad to be able to to continue to provide the service for y'all, man. But I'm gonna wrap it up, man. So make sure you guys share, subscribe, tell somebody. Patreon is available. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep pushing my shit. Keep fucking with me. Captain out.